Hey guys, what's up? It is Fotage, and I'm going to be showing you um, a little tutorial on Illustrator and how to use the strokes and stuff. So, currently I'm using Illustrator CS6, and what I'm going to be showing you how to do is use strokes and how to use the Pathfinder. So, first I'll show you how to do strokes, and you actually have a lot of options in strokes compared to um, in Illustrator compared to Photoshop because you can actually use vectors and you can resize them a lot, and it just gives you a lot more so when you're using the pen tool what you want to do is you want to have this background layer is always your fill and the foreground layer or well they're different but still the one on the bottom here is your stroke and the one on your top is your fill so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna click the none so there's no fill because if you leave it as fill and say we just chose like oh, I know I didn't let me choose the color here which is a red even though it's in the back and you're just trying to do a stroke it'll fill that up with red which is what we don't want so we're just gonna go back here and click none now we're gonna use our stroke and we're just gonna make something so um, for example we're gonna start off just making a simple stroke and I'll show you how to use a stroke section so let's just set these back to default here and we'll just create a stroke so what if we just try to do like a simple, I don't know, it's just simple whatever that is. Alright, so if we press B, it'll bring up this and we can deselect that just to see what it looks like. Okay, well that's the shape we want, so we're going to go reselect this. And then it's going to bring up our path selections here. If this doesn't pop up up here, in the side here, you can go to Window, and go to Appearance, and you'll have the Strokes options here. So you can set your stroke how thick it is so for example I'm going to use 10 just an example here and as you can see it just makes it thicker now here's where it's getting interesting you can make it so it goes from thick to thin or if it goes from thin to thick to thin and there's tons of them there's I don't, some of these are thin to thick thin to thick and all that stuff there's different ones this one doesn't really do anything this one doesn't really do anything. It all kind of depends on what you're making with the stroke. <clears throat> but um, for default, I just usually use this one on most of my work. And that's basically it. That's really all you have to know for strokes. And the thing about this is you can resize it all the way up as big as you want, and you will not lose any quality whatsoever in it. <clears throat> all right. So um, now I'm going to show you how to use fills. Um, they're really easy. So what we're going to do is we don't want a stroke, we just want to fill, so we can click this little swap and fill here. And now the fill will be what we'll have and the st uh, stroke will have none. So we're just going to go down here and we're just going to make like a random shape. So let's just start like this. And as you can see, there's our shape right there. So now we can play around with this, like we can make more shapes and do it all over again now as you can see we want these lines to line up so it looks thin so this is where the pathfinder comes in so we're going to select this do control c and control v we're going to drag it up to right above here just so it deletes the edges of it so just like that and now since this layer is on top as you can see in our layer things if we click down this path is on top of this path down here this path so we're going to select this path and hold shift and select this path also. And this first one joins them together so it's all one path. This one subtracts the top path from the bottom path. This one will make it so whatever's in the middle of both paths. See, so this little area right here. And this last one is the opposite of that, takes away whatever's in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to do minus front and that'll make these lines line up. So now if we, now as you can see, this line lines up with this line. This line lines up with this line, and these two lines are on the matching angle, so it looks cleaner. So that's basically Pathfinder for you. You can do a lot of neat stuff with it, like, for example, if I just took this and wanted to put it right there, we could make a box here, and then select the box, and select this. Oh, make sure you use your move tool. Select this, and then subtract front, and then do the same on the bottom. Then select this and do subtract front. Then you already have like almost a cool looking logo here if you actually just took a bit more time and 
did something with it. Yeah, there's not much you can do really there from there. So, there you got like a cool looking logo there. And then what you can do is you can use this and can join them all. So it's all one path. So when you select it all, it's all one thing. And we can do object, transform, reflect. Or, no, we're going to control CV, object, transform, reflect. And then make sure it's on vertical 90 degrees. And then you can make like cool little logos out of it basically. Move that over a bit. Then you can do here is CV, object, transform, reflect, horizontal. Make sure it actually lined up though. And there you go, there you have like a really not bad looking logo at all. And this can be used in a ton of ways. And there you go, your first ever logo made in Illustrator. And the best thing about this is you can resize as much as you want and it'll never lose its quality to its full 100% factor. Alright guys, thank you very much and hope you enjoyed the tutorial.